Hi, it's Carlos from RC Advisor. A BEC is a battery elimination circuitry, and it's something that was invent invented to be used in electric model airplanes. Because if you have a gas model airplane, you need power for the receiver and the servos, and the, and the gas motor is not going to give, give that to you, you need electrical power. So you, you, you're probably used to having a battery like this, which is a four cell uh, pack that has about five volts output. But a pack like this, you know, it, this is not so light and, and of course you have to, you, it's, it's a hassle because you have to be charging it up and, and all of that. So when electric airplanes came into being, uh, you had to have these big batteries to power the motor and somebody got the bright idea, gee, I should be able to use that battery also to power the electronics. So, so that's when the BEC was born because a BEC is really just a voltage regulator. You know, a three cell battery pack like this is like 11 volts and a BEC takes that and turns it into five volts which is what your receiver and servos want and, and are going to be happy with. Um, it, nowadays if you buy a speed control like this one is a heavy king, you're almost always going to have a, a, a BEC built in so it's got a you know it's going to power the electronics again the receiver and the servos and you know there is a very reliable technology the problem is uh, it, it, especially when it's a free one that's built into speed control it's almost always going to be a linear uh, BEC in fact if they, if they don't tell you what type it is I guarantee you that it's linear because linear BECs are very inexpensive and they don't take up a lot of space or, or weight but they're very limited in their capabilities because it, what, what linear BEC is doing is that it's taking that input voltage, you know, which might be 11 volts, and turning it down into 5. And, and it does that by turning that excess energy into heat. So a, a linear BEC can generate a lot of heat. Which, and heat is, is almost never a good thing with electronics. So you have to be very careful in how you use them. Um, a, um, a, a, they're also very limited in how much current they can output, you know, to power your servos, especially, and um, and and even worse, you know, the the higher the input voltage, the less efficient they become. So, I I think a, a general recommendation is that only use a, a free linear BEC when you, the number of input cells is three or less, because when it gets to four, the the efficiency is so low you have so little current available that you're, you know, you're taking a chance pretty much with any type of airplane. Um, of course, if, you, if your application is very demanding, like a 3D helicopter or a 3D airplane, especially if it's got digital servos, the digital servos need a lot more power. Um, using a linear BEC is probably, is probably never a good idea with that type of airplane. And so then the, the alternative is what's called a, a, uh, a switched BEC. And this, this is an example of a switch BEC. Here's another example. This is a Hextronic. That, that one is Turning G. And switch BECs have a lot of advantages. You know, the, the main disadvantage is what you're seeing. You know, this, this weighs half an ounce, one ounce. Uh, it's the same thing with this one. So they're relatively heavy. But also, you have to buy them. You know, they, they're going to cost at least five, ten bucks extra. You have to install them. There is another component that could fail. So th there's an extra complication that I think most pilots like to avoid. Um, but if, but if, if you're willing to live with that, switched BECs are really wonderful. They can handle a big input voltage range. They can handle a lot of output current to, out to the servos. So, and also a, a, a nice uh, feature that they all seem to have is that you can output either five or six volts and the, the reason for doing six volt output is then the servos have more power and the servos will move faster and, and you know so overall six volts is not a bad idea uh, of course you know if you're flying a trainer then you're never going to see the difference but if it's a 3d airplane 3d helicopter then yeah you probably want six volt um so anyway uh another thing to keep in mind is that if you do use an external bec and the speed control came in one if it doesn't have one, you know, it probably say apto, which means, uh, you know, op optically isolated, you know, the electronics. But, but if it has one and you're using an external BEC, then you need to use a special cable to hook it up. And, you know, here's one of those. 
because what it does is that it leaves out the power so that the power on the speed control is isolated from the rest of the system okay and that's again if you're using an external BEC and this one that's built in if, if, if it doesn't have one built in then you'll have to worry because the, the power cable is not going to do anything so anyway um, I hope you you keep that in mind um, you know go simple and easy if you can get away with it but if you have a a demanding application a lot of servos especially digital servos that are going to be moving a lot just go to with a switch PC you'll be happy you did and until next time